Hello, I'm Chris Menard. In today's Microsoft Teams video, I'm going to talk about how Microsoft Teams already has your meeting transcription handled. So let's take a look at this right now. So if someone is manually taking notes during your meetings and you're having a Microsoft Teams meeting, Teams will do it for you. And if that person wants to continue doing that, he or she can. So here's how I'm going to cover this. I'm going to first show you how the transcription looks after the meeting's concluded. I'll talk about the different file formats you have because it has multiple file formats, which is really cool. I'll talk about who can start and stop the transcription for your meeting. I'll then join a meeting and start it just so you can see how this gets started. And then I'll finally, the last item, I'm going to be doing questions and answers throughout this so you know everything about it after watching this video. So I'm on Teams on the desktop. I had a meeting scheduled that's already been that we've already had with Christian. Christian works with me. So after this meeting's over, I just simply double click it. We did turn on the transcriptions. Again, I'm going to show you that. So by default, you end up on the details tab. So if you've never been here, Microsoft's added a lot of tabs for us. So first, if I just go to chat and click, here is, uh, I joined the meeting, Christian, invi Christian was invited. So I'm the meeting organizer or the host. Cool feature, here's my attendance report. But right here is my meeting transcript. Clicking this takes me up in the top to recordings and transcripts. It's just a hyperlink, basically. So here you go. After we turned on our transcript, transcribed the meeting, and Christian actually started it. So I was the meeting organizer, but what's cool is Christian got into the meeting before me and actually turned it on. The reason he can do that is he is part of my tenant. So I was the organizer, he was a presenter. So one of the questions you're going to have is, hey, can somebody outside my organization do it? They would be an attendee. The answer is no. They cannot start or stop the transcriptions, only people in your tenant or people you work with. So here's what we actually said, 833, this is me. It's got my picture. Hey, can you hear me? Second, I was muted. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay, so now we're talking. But you can see when I'm speaking and when Christian speaks. So this is pretty cool right here. The second item I want to tell you is it comes in different formats. So I can go download this as a Microsoft Word document, or I could download this as a VTT file. A VTT file is a video text track. Uh, that's for subtitles and captions, in case you're wondering. The next item I want to tell you is, again, just to point out, if I go to the attendance tab at the top, and a lot of people don't even know there's an attendance tab up here, it'll show me everyone in the meeting. So we started at 8.32, we ended at 8.38. There were two of us. Christian joined the meeting first, and Christian is a presenter. So I'm the organizer. I scheduled it, but Christian joined it and started the transcription. I stopped it because we're in the same tenant. So that's cool. So here we go. I'm going to close this out. So let me go ahead and show you exactly how this works right now. So it only works with meetings that are scheduled. It will not work with a meet now meeting. And you can tell scheduled meetings because scheduled meetings are on your calendar. Meet now is not on your calendar. It also works with scheduled meetings that are recurring meetings. So just to show you this real quick, uh, I set up this recurring meeting test with Carol. Today's the 25th. I'm going to double click this one. I've already been in this meeting once. Again, details, chats, recordings and transcripts. This is really cool. I set this up on June 14th. And in case you're wondering why is June 14th in here three times, I started the meeting, stopped it, started, stopped, started, stopped. That's why it's in here three times. But look, here we go again. This is just me in here playing around. Me again. So it's working. 
And then the next recurring meeting on the 15th, again, I just tested it. I tried it on the 18th, and then I tried it today on the 25th. So let me close this. So we've got one for the 25th because I've already done it. So now let me show you how this actually works. So I did a scheduled meeting. I'm going to go and start this meeting. Let me get my camera set up. So to start your transcription, you come up here. Start transcription. Hey, this is Chris Menard. Here's a cool trick. Spoken language will set to English. Transcription's been started. Dismiss. It is showing me the transcription over here in this panel called the transcription panel. If somebody else was speaking, I would see their picture and what they're saying. If you notice, it is very accurate and it's also very fast. Does anyone know if we're still going to Las Vegas for our trade show in 2023? Notice it did a question mark after 2023, which is the correct punctuation. If you don't want to see this panel here, you can either hit the X to close it or come up here to the three dots and hide transcript. If you want to stop the transcript, so hiding it doesn't stop it. Just to be clear about that, I'm going to now click on stop transcription and then we'll go see how it looks again in the meeting detail section. Back to the 25th, so I've, I've actually started this meeting twice today now. Double click, always takes you to details, go where, recording and transcripts. That's why the 25th is in here twice. There's the first time at 918. And here we go right now. And there are my download options. Great feature if you're asking me because it's very accurate about the transcriptions. And again, just to point out, it only works when you schedule a meeting. Doesn't matter whether it's a recurring meeting or a one-time scheduled meeting. It will not work with Meet Now, which also means it will not work if you go to chat and do a video call. It will not work there. And during my test, I found this interesting. If I go and schedule a meeting, I did not... I could not get it to work when I did a channel meeting. So just, just telling you what I found out during my testing. But I still love this feature. It is great. I appreciate your time. Let me know if you like it, if you're possibly going to use it at your company. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.